Well, how do there, people in the viewer verse? Tis I, Captain of the Steve, and today, Charm Just is a cup of tea with Captain Steve. Episode. Something seems to be missing, doesn't it? Where's my cap? Oh, there it is down there. Actually, no, it's not it. I've had a new haircut. I might as well show off my hair. <laughs> there we go. I think I'm looking rather dapper today. Heck yes. Anyway, I've got a new brew of tea as well, people. So this is my own Captain's Brew. And hopefully I'll be putting links inside the video description of where you can get your own Captain's Brew if you like. It's my lovely new merch cup. It's got different images on other sides as well. That's all the shameless plugs done. Why am I here today, people? I'm going to be talking to you about No Man's Sky. And also, what I think is likely to come into No Man's Sky in the very next update. People on the side of your verse, I guess. I'm just jumping over to Sean Murray's Twitter over in the background. I'll jump over there in a second and show you what I've got cooking. Anyway, so let's, um, let's just jump on over into... I'm thinking to game first, though, people on the side of your verse. Let's go do that. Boom! And there I am inside of game. So what do I think is coming into the next update from going inside of game? So if you go inside of here and you go inside of your catalogue and then you go into your wonders, you can see here, discovered 35 of 78. Well, let's hit on in, shall we, people? You can see here, I'm only missing one on this first page, that one. I haven't seen anyone that's managed to unlock that. If you have managed to unlock that, let us know how you managed to unlock it, because I can't get it. But yes, all the other pages are all completed coated people. Every single discovery that can be discovered Yours truly, the captain, has discovered it. I mean, this one's your own personal record. You can put stuff into there. But yeah, that's, that's only lacking a couple. But it's nowhere even close to this 78. So I think Hello Games are going to be stacking up and stuffing up a load more wonders inside of the wonders catalogue. But where could those wonders be? I'm hoping they're going to be in an alternate realm, people. That's what I'm hoping for. But <laughs> we'll move on to that in a second. Anyway, exiting out of this menu, our last update was called The Singularity. And it's been pushing over onto the expedition with lore around the Void Mother, the Realm of Glass, and that other dimension that I'm hoping appears inside of game as an actual physical place we can travel to. It might end up being a text adventure, people, so don't get your hopes up too much. But if I go and talk to Captain Lashier here on my deck of my freighter, you can talk to your captain, whatever his name might be. And uh, yeah, look at this. Second option. Engage Singularity Engine. Now this was inside of the Polestar Expedition, and what it did is it just opened up a black hole and let you jump to a random area of space. I'm hoping that the Singularity Engine, considering it's called the Singularity Engine, and the last update was called the Singularity, that maybe the Singularity Drive is going to be doing a little bit more of that once it actually comes into the game as physical tech that we can install on every freighter, not just an expedition. But actually, let's just jump into that realm of glass or into the void or something. An alternate realm is what I'm thinking, people, inside of the viewer So Anyways, that's everything that I've got inside of game for you. But what have I got for you outside of game hints and stuffage let's uh, let's go and hit on up my laptop and i'm over on the twitter verse i'm on sean murray's page i tried to scroll down using my freaking joypad then people that's not going to work is it but anyway we've got the interceptor at the top that's been pinned but if i can scroll down to where he where he had the last one for the singularity which is going to be a lot of scrolling now because he's been sharing out quite a lot of freaking stuff as the old murray but when I get to it, it mentions about an evolving storyline and a four-part arc. So he's already hinted that we're in part two now, and um, there's parts three and four yet to come. Oh my days, he posted this quite some time ago, didn't he? Here we go. So we are part, part two of a four-part arc. So we're halfway through. So I'm hoping that we're going to get part three. It's kind of an obvious one, but I just wanted to point this out to people that haven't got Twitter, don't follow the Sean Murray, don't really know about all of this one. And there was ARG clues in part two. I'm expecting that there's going to be ARG clues in part three. And the nice thing is, is I actually guessed the Crimson Trail was going to be coming in. It was it was originally labelled the Sentinel Trail for your freighters and the Wayfarer's Helm. I predicted those two were going to actually happen inside of part two, and it did. So there we go. We've got something right anyways. So there we are, peeps. Anyways, so yeah, there are more ARG clues. Part three of a four-part arc is what I'm thinking is going to happen. 
and along the top here I've got a few other bits and bobs so other things that are not in game yet but we we know that they might be coming into game is the station cores and the station override so I've just hit play on there I've got it muted so I can just talk over it but basically you interact with this sort of console at the back of the station and at the moment you can you can input a station override but it just comes up with it says, it says counterfeit and that you know even if even if you've got it through the correct way, which I have, it says that access denied. Glass, 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 which is another hint at maybe the realm of glass. So could it be that the stations are going to jump us into the realm of glass or access the realm of glass? I don't know. Don't know. But station overrides are something that hasn't come into game as yet. They could come into game. What they might do, I've got videos. I mean, this is three things that the station override may do. I'll put a link to this up there, people, if you want to watch this video in full. Yeah, it's a good watch. Yeah, what well, I'm going to say that I'm biased. Yep. Anyhow, jumping over here, this video isn't by me. This is by the structure. Now, what the structure has done is he's gone in and data mined the NPC robot file and made it so the NPC robots are appearing at his settlement. Now, I'm wondering if we do go into an alternate realm or a border, I don't know, Corvax Prime or whatever it's called now, Void Prime, whether we might encounter these NPCs with inside of that universe or on that corrupted planet or whatever. But it put a fair bit of work into these. I mean, look at the cloth physics as it moves around. All the cloth sort of moves in a wavy davy way with the actual body mechanics and stuff like that. So I think they wouldn't have gone to work on these in such a way that they have if they weren't going to be bringing them into iteration into game at some point. So I'm wondering whether we're going to get this whole new NPC appearing, a whole new sort of robotic race. I know we've got two head types. Hopefully they're going to add in more and more variety, but check out the pole in its hand. It's not like a multi-tool that we've got, is it? Heck no, it's not. So I think there's a likelihood that we might see new NPCs frequent in certain places like this chap, which would be pretty darn freaking epic and cool. So what else? I've only got one tab left, people, and it's this. So this got data mined. These are new station types. They're station type B. So I'm thinking maybe if we do jump into alternate realities, we're going to get alternate stations appearing. And you can see there's this just a little picture slideshow of them, some of the screenshots. There was a mod that was out there where you could access these and see them on PC. Sadly, they've been completely stripped out of the game for now. But all of these had their blocking volumes all nicely sort of coordinated. So you see the gaps in there? You can actually fly through them. They weren't hit boxes that you bounce off of. You could actually fly through all those gaps. They were beautifully done, had procedural elements to them, and they look far more in keeping with the sentinelized ships that we've got now, and they look more in keeping with the colossal archives on the actual planet surfaces. It looks like parts of these have broken off and landed on the planet as a colossal archive, doesn't it? These things look great, and I can't wait to see if they do come into iteration. But like I say, the actual, they've been stripped out of the game files. Were they put in by accident? Were they put there as a bit of a teaser of things to come? I really don't know, people, but I'm excited nonetheless for that. And I'm wondering whether we might get an interior overhaul to stations as well to go with perhaps the station override. Maybe that might lead to station ownership, but that's a bit of a reach. That's a bit of a grasp. That's speculation perhaps gone too far. Keep your expectations in check, but these are just the ideas. These are the things that I feel that could have merit and some sort of grounds of certainty going from what I'm seeing inside of the game, what I'm seeing inside of the game files. This is not loose speculation based on lore. I am going to do an episode of that though, people. Heck yes, I am, because why the fudge not? It's what I like doing and what I like doing best. Anyway, people, inside of you, I need to get back to drinking my tea, I think, don't I? So let's, let's just jump back on over here. Yeah, I'll just close down all those sort of windows in the background just in case one of them decides to play volume all of a sudden. Yeah, really enjoying this. this lovely cup of tea which is a lovely English brew and yeah like I said links for this tea is inside the video description um lovely person called Tanif who hosts Cherizina has um come up with a captain's brew and blend for me I guess so yeah anyway I'm gonna go enjoy this until next time oh yeah if you do buy it from there i own a little bit of revenues i guess i do and she's got a lovely freaking repertoire of things you can choose from so go check her out i'll put the link in the video description cheerio bye goodbye goodbye and goodbye again